Hey everyone, it's Alex with Web Hosting Canada. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to create an alias in cPanel, also known as a parked domain. Now, just as a quick point of clarification, setting up an alias does not register a domain. If you want to use an alias, you need to register the domain first, and there will be a link to where to register a domain with Web Hosting Canada in the description of this video. Now, an alias or a parked domain is a second domain name that can display the same website as your primary domain. There's two ways that you can do this. You can have the second domain just display the website, or you can have the second domain redirect to the first domain. We recommend the second method, because if you use the first method, you could end up getting a duplicate content penalty from Google. From the Web Hosting Canada client area, we're going to go to cPanel, and then under the Domains section, we need to click on Aliases, and then right here in the Create a New Alias section, we're going to put in the domain name we want to use, which is whctest.ca, and then we'll click on Add Domain, and it's just going to think about it for a minute to make sure the domain is available, and then we'll get the success message saying whctest alias has been created. So we'll go back and as you can see the alias is down here whctest.ca. So now whctest is an alias of my main domain and in order to set up the redirection we're going to come over here and click on manage redirection and then in this field we need to put in the domain that we want to redirect it to which is https colon front slash front slash solutions dash web dot ca and we click on save and we'll get the success message and then if we go back the domain has now been redirected and that is how you set up an alias or a parked domain in cPanel and then when we're ready to disable the redirection or delete it completely uh, first, we can go into Manage Redirection, and you just need to click on Disable Redirection if you don't want it to redirect anymore. And if you want to delete the alias completely, you just come over under Actions and click on the Remove button. And then it'll say, Are you sure? We click on Remove Alias, and we get a success message and go back and see that the alias no longer exists. So that is how you create manage and remove an alias in cPanel. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to reach out to us through the comments. We're always happy to help you and we'll be back soon with more great content.